Shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired Let me see your hand. Drop it. Drop it. Kidnappers deserve a special place in hell. And one of the best things you can see in your life is a kidnapper getting caught. These are the cases that show just that, especially like in this first case. On April 20th, a 54-year-old Daniel Phillips was threatening to kill himself outside an auto zone in Wentzville, Missouri. Copy, I just did, I already got it. What's going on, man? Back. Let me see your hands, bro. I got one right here in my hand. Get back. Get back, bro. Let me see your I fucking hands. Dude, bro. He wanted gunpoint. He's got a gun to his head. Stop, bro. No. Stop. Put it. Put your fucking gun down, man. Put the gun down, bro. Put the gun down, man. Put the gun down. Put the gun down. Stop. Dude, what's your name, bro? Talk to me. What's your name? Talk to me, bro. What's your name? What's your name? As soon as Daniel closes the door, the police officer does something that changed Daniel's life forever. To me, okay? Shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. Let me see your hands. Drop it, drop it. 319, guns down, guns down. Get him out, get him out. Get on the ground, bro. Down. Down. I'm Get on the ground, man. I'm bleeding bad. I'm bleeding bad. Okay. Clear that car. I'm bleeding bad. I'm bleeding bad. I'm bleeding bad. I'm bleeding bad. If you haven't already, shots fired. Go to get EMS and route. I need supervisors. Oh. I'm dying, man. Okay, go get your uh, go get your trauma bag. Get him out, get him out. Get him out. Oh, get on the ground, bro. I'm bleeding bad. I'm bleeding bad. I'm bleeding bad. Okay. Where are you hit, bro? Is anybody hit? Check yourself. Physically check. Okay, go, go. Physically go check him and go check. Uh, or uh, go check. Where are you hit, man? In my wrist, man. Look at it. Where are you hit, bro? In my wrist. Okay, just your wrist? Yes, sir. I'm dying, man. You're dying. I'm losing conscious. You hit an artery. Yeah, that's the only one. I'm going to take his cousin's pants. Get the tourniquet on the You got yours? Hey, man. Put it right here. Nope. No, we don't. It looks like he got one injury, at least to his arm. And just like that, the officer handled the whole situation, acted quickly, and probably saved the man's life. Truly an amazing job. Check his back off. Not yet. Okay, you can show me back on the board and around. Hold there. Yeah, that's the only one. I'm going to take his... Where's it at? Get the drum kit on and on. Yeah, you're We're going to need to take that cuff right here. No, no, we don't. No, you're going to snap. Show me back on the board and around. Show me back on the board and around. You hit anywhere else, bro? What status of officers on scene? Officers appear to be 
clear. Where's the caller? Go, no, go, I'm, I'm good. Go check him. Go check out. Uh, Where's the caller? Right, go, go get Where are you going? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody here, man. Okay. Hey! What more are you getting? It's early car. It was early car. It was. Uh, he's got at least one to his arm. In the artery. And that's the only one that we see. We just have one patient. That's, as of right now, yes. Okay. Did somebody else shoot him or did you guys shoot him? We shot him. Just making sure. There's no. He's got one to his arm and wrist. We cut his pants off, we cut his back, we didn't see anything anywhere else. Phillips was unhandicuffed and taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Phillips is facing multiple charges in several jurisdictions related to the kidnapping and the shooting. Watching someone kidnapping themselves and then getting shot is crazy. But wait until you see this next guy who used a child as a human shield. Put the kid down, dude! Put the kid down! A 27-year-old Brandon Lee owner allegedly used a kidnapped one-year-old as a human shield before he was tased outside of a McDonald's drive through in Flagler County, Florida. After driving recklessly through the city, Brandon was finally cornered. Show me your hands, dude! Put the baby down! Put the kid down! Put the kid down! Getting tased was not enough for this guy, so he does the impossible and does something that will leave you wondering if that's even possible. Stop, dude! The Flagler Sheriff's Office says that Leonor now faces charges of kidnapping and using a minor as a human shield. Crazy person, right? Just like this next person on the list who had kidnapped and chained a woman to the floor. On August 16th, officers found Yana Wilson being held captive in the second floor bedroom of a Kentucky home. The condition in which she is found will bring tears to your eyes. Officers found her on the second floor of the home after discovering the entire first floor had been barricaded. But there is a second floor window open after the woman chained inside. 37-year-old Jonna Wilson kicked out a window and began screaming. After being called by the neighbors when they heard a woman in distress, the officer immediately realized that things were not as calm as they seemed. At the top of the ladder, officers find Wilson crying with a chain collar and padlock around her neck. Immediately, they ask about the suspect. Is it my Wilson he did what? Is he Hispanic? But there's no one else in here, right? No, you can Here we go. Thank you so much. Two days after the incident, police arrested 36 year old Moises May. He faces several charges, including kidnapping, wanton endangerment, and assault, among others. He made me strip naked. Mm -hmm. And he put the chain around my neck. 
<laughs> and then he called his friend. He said, I gotta go take this equipment back to Lowe's. When I come back, I'm gonna kill you. It's hard to roll. You broke the window and you started, started calling for help. Yeah. And who heard you? Um, the neighbors right here. They called 911 and they came and got me. He would have killed me. As soon as I seen him lock the door, I knew I wasn't going to get out. He said, you want to do this the hard way? You want to do it the easy way? I said, well, I want to do it the easy way. So I let him put the chain around my neck. And um, he started choking me with this. An arrest citation reviewed by Law and Crime says May and the woman were arguing when he allegedly held her down on the floor, grabbed a machete, and used it to cut off most of her hair. He also slapped the victim around and threatened to kill her multiple times, the police report says. Before you think you have seen it all, watch how this next guy had kept a woman hostage in his bedroom. Like, like 30 minutes, like close to starting. Why don't you have a sit right, see right there? Why don't you have a sit right, see right there on that stool? On October 6th, officers were called on site by a local in Akron, Ohio who thought something fishy was going on in her neighborhood. The officer witnessed something that they won't forget in 100 years. What's going on? How do we get in? Can we get in the door? You have to kick in the side door. I don't, we don't care. I don't care. My parents are here. I can't come. I just don't help this people. He used to live here, so he can tap into anything. Uh -huh. But we have cameras up for other reasons. Right, I got you. Has, you know he's in there for a fact? I know for a fact. Can you, can you kick your door? Can you I kick it in? I swear to God, go ahead. Please. This, I don't know what's wrong with this girl. Oh, there's a girl in there with him? Yes. I told them this. I told them this. Mm -hmm. There's a girl in there. She's very small and slim. My husband said he didn't really get a good look at her. But he's yelling at her. The uh, right. the on her face is she can't see out of her eyes. Okay. So this is why I'm nervous. This is why I've been calling her. Well, I gave it to you the one time. I'm so excited to see yeah, what What did we like. use it on? That window where the dude, dude died in the house. <laughs> oh, yeah. The call is Yeah. <laughs> He's at the top. Yeah. She's got a tunnel yeah. there. Surprise! I don't know how sharp the blade is. Well, <laughs> the 43 would probably be, like to be present for this so that way. Yes. Lick, he can have this. Welcome to day shift, Cap. Here you go. Who's in 22? No, 43. Davis, oh. that way. Uh, Lip, uh, Lick you. Lick you. I can't even speak now. <laughs> I'm having a stroke. Yeah. You got a little hammer in on that, you know. Is this Licky's first day? William, this is Jack from Police Department. This is your last chance. Come out now with your hands up, or we'll be sending the canine in to apprehend you. You will get bit by the dog. William, last chance. <laughs> Take sure I'm off the top. Agri, please, better come out! Come on, guys, your hands up! Come on, guys. No. Come on out! William, come out now, Agri, please! There's a lot of shit in the way. Come out! Come on! Come on now! Up. Nothing in your hands! <laughs> Nothing in your hands! After waiting and biding their time, the officers had had enough, so they decided to go in and get it over with. But little did they know that they might just have opened a can of worms that they were not ready for. Come on now! Come on now! <laughs> Bro, you're gonna get fucked up in a second. You better come the right the fuck out now. Now! He's up in Come on. Keep, going. No, I don't Keep everything out of your hands. He's in the attic. He's in the attic. He's coming. Keep everything out of your hands. You keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. We'll go hands down. Put it yeah. down. Drop it. Drop. No, not your whole body. Get up. Walk turn around and walk backwards. Walk towards us. Walk towards us. Keep your hands up. Man. Put your hands up. Hey, we'll cuff. cuff. We'll cuff. Hey! Just keep coming. Watch your step right there. 
You get that? Socks are fucked in the car. Let's head go. He's excited. Good boy. You can't hear you. Good boy. <laughs> okay, what do you need to get down? Is there a chicken? Let me get this ladder, okay? Let me get this ladder. Why don't you have a sit right seat right there? Why don't you have a sit right seat right there on that stool? Yeah, probably she at. Yeah. Why don't you just sit down there? Come on, guys, I'm watering. Oh, we'll get you some stuff here. Car number twelve. Yeah, we'll have a different car number. Hey, are you, are you, what's that? Oh, you want? Yeah, that's what I probably want to take care of. What is your name, man? Yeah. 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 What is your security? How long has she been up here? Okay. Uh, what's your social security number? Turn number four. Just take a look at the kidnapper's face. He is not even slightly sorry about what he has done. This just shows you how really lost some people are. Just a piece of paper, it's a court paper. But still, I mean, we all know what goes up in folded piece of papers. All right. Step on up there. But this isn't the only time when cops came to the rescue. This next kid was reunited with his parents by these heroic cops. Officer's body cam shows him safely rescuing the child, who was found seemingly unharmed still in the back seat and still trapped in his car seat. What's your name, buddy? You okay? What's your name? You don't know your name? On March 1st, 2024, the Akron Police Department arrested a 54-year-old kidnapper, Larry Spencer. Just wait until you see what he did with the two-year-old. Hi, buddy. Are you okay? Name? Yeah. Hey, he might be in this tap tap. He might be in the tap tap. All these people outside here yeah, with Dickens House is checking up there. This tap, the, the truck's right there. Hey guys, let's get somebody on the uh, west side of this. 
I don't, he said he walked this way, but they're, they're claiming he's not down here. According to local reports, an Amber Alert was issued after a black Dodge Ram pickup was reported for being stolen from a local Dollar General store with a two-year-old child still sleeping in the back seat. It happened when the child's father went inside the store, leaving the engine running. That is when Larry Spencer jumped in and drove away with the pickup. <laughs> Police were able to track the truck's movements in the Akron area after the child's father left his cell phone inside the truck. Listen, here's the, here's the deal. Here's the deal. That guy just ki kidnapped his daughter. Okay, the daughter's in the car, so this is kind of a big deal. That's why everybody's here. I put it on my kid's life. Nobody walked. Where'd he go, though? I had to have been that way. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking to my grandma. Let's get the A. Let's get perimeter on the tap. Come out! Can someone come? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! I can't see over there. I can't see. Anyone inside? Come out now! With your hands up! No. No. Does anybody know what's going on there? No. Anyone else inside? Nope. No one else. Open right. Take left. All right. Here we go. They got Larry. They got it. 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 Did you guys the Amber Alert? Did you get it on your phone? Yeah. Well, he, he... After breaching in, all the workers came outside, letting police do their job. While searching inside, officers found no signs of the suspect. But then, over the radio, they heard that Larry was in custody. You okay? What's your name? You don't know your name? Yeah, yeah. Let me get you out of Carson. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Let me get you out of Carson. You want to sip your water? You're okay, you want to get out? It's okay, buddy. It's okay. You're all right. You like, check this out. You like flashlights? No. Oh, it's okay. Do you want to hold this? No. No. All right. It's all right. My daddy. It's okay. Hey, look. No. I found a little car for you sitting down there. It's okay. It's all right, buddy. No. No. It's all right. It's okay. There, I'm going to take you out. Okay, it's okay. Let's get you out of here. It's okay. Your jammies. We got some books here. You like you like dinos? I like them. My my little boy likes dinos. Okay. It's okay, buddy. Here, I'm gonna lower this tailgate. You can sit, we can just sit right here, okay? You probably you probably been sitting in there. All right, thanks. Man. All right. How old are you? No, my daddy. You like stickers? No. I know, I'm gonna, we're going to get you your daddy. Any snacks in this bag? Yeah, You want some snacks or something? I might have snacks in my lunchbox. I'll look. There you go. Hey, I, f hey, I found some pretzels. You want some pretzels? Authorities located the truck and police found the child at the back of the seat safe and sound. The two-year-old kept crying and said she missed her parents. 
One of the officers did something, showing what a good cop should be like. This is gonna drive you home. You're gonna go see mom and dad. Yeah? Like my daddy's Yeah. Well, we're gonna go see mama, okay? I see a white car daddy's We're gonna go see mama's, okay? Here, buddy. We were out in the area, and we were like, we're hopefully come back down this way. Here Larry was caught and handcuffed by the police, ready for the prison ride. He barely said a word. Yet another incident, and how many times do parents have to be told not to leave their kids in the car? Hope that the parents learned an important lesson. And that's all for today, guys. Who do you think is responsible for the kidnapping in the last incident? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time.